This is the video version of the Getting Data into our Studio tutorial. I'm starting from the point where we've already downloaded the Excel file for the Site 18 data. I put it in a Site 18 project folder on my desktop. So let's go in there. Here's the Excel file. Let's go ahead and open that in Excel. So here we have the data. We've seen this before. So we're going to go ahead and save this as a CSV file. So we're going to go into Save As and we're going to go back into the Site 18 project folder. So it's defaults to Excel workbook. Let's switch that down and there's several CSV formats. We want the one that is just CSV, not the Macintosh or DOS CSV, just the regular CSV common delimited file. Now we click Save. We don't need to change the file name. Now Excel is going to pop up. Um, some features in your workbook might be lost, which is okay. All we want are the common delimited values, so we say yes to save that format. Now we're done in Excel, so we don't have to save again. We've already saved it once, so you can click don't save to the second prompt. So now we have a CSV file alongside our Excel file. So now let's go into our studio, which I've already launched. And uh, depending your your pane layout may look a little different, but um, either way, I'm just going to straighten that up. So the first thing before we import the data, let's go ahead and make sure that our working directory is set correctly. So down here in the files pane, we can click on uh, more and um, that we have this set as working directory option. So we don't want to set this directory. We want to go and find where our uh, file is. So that can be a little difficult since we need to go to the desktop. That is located in the users folder under your profile and there is desktop. So now again you're going to you're going to go to where you've put the data. So you want to just pick a location, browse to where you've that. So here's our site 18 project folder. So here's our CSV and Excel file. And so now I'm going to go back up here and set that as my working directory and notice that it's used uh, some code, every button that you press in our studio runs some R uh, syntax or code. So, and again, you can save this, put it into a uh, script file if you want, so that next time you open it up, it automatically saves it. I'm not going to do that right now, but so now that we're in our working directory, let's import the data set, and we'll have two options here from text file or web URL. We're going to do text file and it's going to open up our working directory. So we want to pick the CSV file, click open, and now we have our import uh, data set uh, window and in the input file up here on the right this is the raw data that it sees in the file. Notice that the first row of the file are ID, are um, variable names. So this is the interpretation, the data frame is ours and our studios um, terminology for a data set. Notice that it is interpreting our variable names as actual data elements and it's giving them names in bold here of v1, v2, v3, v4. So we have some options over here. We can <coughs> name this as it goes into our studio. We want to keep the name of the file the same. The heading, if we change that from no to yes, what that tells our studio is that the first row are variable names. Notice its interpretation has changed now. So now it's correctly seeing the variable names. Our separator, we're using comma delimited file. Decibel is period. Usually we won't have to worry about these. Anyhow, that's all we have to do is just change heading to yes. Now click import. Several things are going to happen. So one, it has imported the data and it's opened it so we can see the actual data points and how it has interpreted. We have some missing values that we know were in the original data. Now down here in the workspace area we have a data object called Site18 that is 43 observations of 14 variables. If we recall from class that looks correct. And notice over here in the console window that it has as part of the import um, it has named an object site18 using a read.csv, that's how it's read in the file. And then it has typed view, a capital V-I-E-W, and that is what results in this here. So again, this is um, 
script that can be captured and put in a script file to be run during the next session if you wanted to. But so let's go ahead now that we let's examine this really quick. So we've looked at this command before, the uh, structure command. Just type str site 18, hit return, and we can see the characteristics of the data, integer uh, and numbers, and we see the variable names. This looks very familiar from class. We can also do something we did in class, which is type summary, and then within parentheses, the uh, data object name, site 18. And if I click on that button there, that'll extend this out. And now we have a summary of each variable in the data set, remembering that things like ID and sex, which are 0, 1, uh, are not totally meaningful in terms of the statistics presented. These are primarily for continuous variables. So that brings um, data into an RStudio session and a couple commands to look at it. Again, if you um, want to, you can uh, grab this uh, text here and copy it and put it into a script file that you can save so that each time you want to operate on this data, you can just rerun the set directory command, import the data, and then run commands on the data. That's the end of this video. Thanks.